is a flirt pole and why would you want one? In essence, it's just another type of toy. It's a toy that your dog might enjoy chasing and grabbing on a string. This particular flirt pole has an elastic string and a stick. So it's a toy and its main purpose is for fun. And fun with a flirt pole is what we are going to talk about today. However, there is more to a flirt pole than just fun and exercise. You can also teach a dog a lot of really useful behaviors and skills and concepts using this particular type of toy. But this will be a topic for another uh, training tips videos. Before we start training dogs with any kind of tool, any type of toy, any type of game, we first need to make them interested and spark their desire for interacting with that particular uh, toy or tool. And flirt pole, like any other tool or toy, in itself isn't anything special. As I said, it's a stick with a string with a toy attached in the end. So what makes a flirt pole so special? It's how you use it. And if used correctly, it can be a fantastic way to um, exercise your dog to fulfill their desires for certain natural dog behaviors and of course for training why would you want to play like this with your dog why not just throw a ball and let the dog chase it um, there's lots of reasons why uh, this particular tool uh, or toy might be better than throwing a ball in certain circumstances but my favorite reason is um, the fact that when you play with your dog uh, with a toy close to you and a toy that you activate and make alive then you become part of that game when you are just throwing a toy for a dog once that toy left your hand you are no longer really part of that game but with a flirt ball throughout this whole uh, game throughout the whole uh, cycle of play uh, from the moment you start uh, the game to the moment the dog grabs the toy you are part of this game okay so then you might ask why not just a toy in the hand then? Uh, I can still interact with the dog with just a rope toy or another tug toy in my hand and make it fun for the dog to chase it while it's being held by me. Why this uh, contraption? Okay, so there is also a reason why uh, a flirt pole is different than a toy held in hand. And of course, toy held in hand is absolutely a wonderful toy too. And I use this a lot in my interactions with dogs, in my play and in my training. But a uh, flirt pole is slightly different. While you are actually controlling the toy and activating it and making it fun, the toy isn't connected with you very closely which means the dog doesn't have to crowd into your space to interact with the toy some dogs can be quite sensitive about proximity they can be um, a little bit uh, they can't take it feel it as a, a little bit of pressure when when they have to be so close to you and if you bend over they may feel it's a little bit icky and another reason is you can you can make the toy move much faster or in much more interesting ways when it's on a string so the type of game we can generate with this flirt pole and how we move it is chase game so the dog gets to chase uh, something that looks like a little prey and we make it look real and very exciting the best way to play with a flirt pole is to make it really behave like an animal. Ideally, the toy you will uh, have at the end of the string is something quite flexible. And if it has fluffy bits, that can be quite exciting to dogs. And ideally, it wouldn't be too heavy because if it's too heavy, then it will be harder for you to move it uh, in an interesting way. There are some safety considerations uh, with flirt poles. The games we generate with flirt poles are usually quite sprinty, which means the dogs are exerting a lot of energy and therefore we have to be careful that the dogs are not overheating um, so the dogs need to be playing in short bursts and then get lots of rest in between make sure the water and shade is always available be sure to avoid very sharp turns and, and kind of like a jerky movements you want to make the toy move in an interesting way but in arcs and um, big 
uh, turns rather than very very sharp turns where the dog gets to build a lot of momentum and speed before they have to turn.